His name is Vlad, so you know it should you know hit your mind like this is what a Vlad could look like. But people don't be thinking that. They be like, this is Vlad. And some people know. Maybe you did, but if you didn't know, this is what DJ Vlad looked like. So why are we talking about Vlad? Because baby, it looks Man. like Kendrick just got Vlad canceled as well. At the very least, he wow. got himself together and had to bow down to the culture in such a good way. Vlad. But I also wanted to talk about this video and the way that the people inside the culture Your days is over, literally way. scurried behind him trying to protect him, talking know. about the The type of question, Vlad, I've been watching Vlad since I was young too, since a teenager too, but the type of questions, bro, that nigga would ask, bro, you already know, bro. Like, even when you watch the Boozy interview, it don't even seem like Boozy even, like, interred, interred, little, what that, interested in the conversation. <laughs> I'm chewing this gum and shit, bro. And then I'm sleepy, bro. It's late night, bro. I got to get up and work in the morning, but still trying to grind. You feel me? But look, Vlad be asking some weird stuff. Oh, yeah, it seems like Boozy don't even be interested. It seems like he be asking police questions to Boozy, and Boozy just try to, like, Whatever, and, you know what I mean, and, and get to the bag, you feel me, but Vlad, he definitely don't seem like a genuine dude, I would never trust that nigga, bro, just look at him, bro, like, he look like he just for self, bro, simple. Breakfast Club, y'all, you gotta listen to these facts and the way they unfold, because baby, call it the Kendrick Lamar effect, but baby, it is working. BJ Vlad is receiving backlash on social media after threatening to call a woman's job over a disagreement over Drake slash Kendrick rap beef. At DJ Vlad tweeted out, don't try to change your words now. I'll be reaching out to at Princeton about this on Monday. So DJ Vlad tweets out, Kendrick's not like us needed a better mix. It takes away from the song. Now y'all, when I heard that, this is all I can imagine. It takes away from the song, cause dummy, we having a cult, what do you mean the drum bass? When we're having a cultural conversation, it's not about the stupid drum bass but he's so removed from the culture he didn't realize but listen here's a live reenactment of what dj vlad actually said hold on hey, ho, be ho, you know be the mix I, I just really don't like the mix on that song i mean uh -huh. you just two track the the sob <laughs> really screwed the pooch on that one buddy i mean you got the whole world to listening pal and you don't take time to do the mix i mean i don't mind the lyrics sure you betcha but the mix, I mean, where's the production <laughs> quality? you betcha. You know, Prince. Prince didn't do a great job on the mix sometimes. And look at the streams. Look at the difference in the streams on the mix. If K-Dot would have done a better job on the mix, I think he'd be up in the battle. <laughs> but, you know, the mix is important. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, very disgusting and very entitled that this mofo thinks that we are having a conversation about our culture around black people and he can troll himself up here and give us opinion. But guess what? The professor at Princeton thought the same thing I did because look what happened. Oh, Morgan Jerkins responded by tweeting out, you are white. This is a black folk affair. I mean, never have true words mm. been spoken, but you know, let's continue. DJ Vlad replied, wait. So a professor at Princeton is telling me that a white person shouldn't be allowed to voice their opinion about hip hop. Is that how you interact with your students? Mm. See what we said, Karen behavior? He tried it, yeah, he tried. but don't worry, Morgan has something for him. Hold on. And Morgan Jerkins responded, what I'm saying is that you put your opinion in a discussion that's not needed. This conversation is and should center black people, not you. Now, let me start right here, Man. because just to let you know, this is where things went off the rails because Twitter got into a tizzy. Because people were saying, how dare you say that white people can't speak on anything? We can do whatever we want. And I think people were missing the overall point. And this wow. comes to the point of having a conversation about gatekeeping culture, especially from DJ Blab. Because what everybody, not everyone, but for a lot of people failed to realize was this wasn't just a simple rap beat. This was about our culture. When we say stay out of black for business, we're speaking slang, <laughs> African-American vernacular. <laughs> what it really means is this is a culture situation. Yes, you can have your opinion, but at no point should you censor yourself. Could you imagine me going to India, China, Africa, Afghanistan, and being like, oh, let me tell you about your culture and let me tell when we're having a sensitive cultural situation.
And could you imagine other people being like, no, let them speak. Man, shut up. <laughs> guess what? Good thing Twitter thought exactly what we thought because they got Vlad together and he had to apologize. Let me clear the air, sorry, and state that I never had any intention of filing a complaint to Princeton for former Professor Morgan Jenkins saying that white people aren't allowed to comment on Kendrick Lamar's music. She trolled me and I trolled back. At the end of the day, it created an interesting discussion about race relations in America. I will be discussing it in the future in my interviews. Well, the bottom line to it is, uh, I think he really did think that people were going to jump on his side and he could go and file the report against Morgan Jenkins um, to Princeton. Now, no doubt Princeton's a big university. I'm sure they've already seen it because it's blown up. But at the end of the day, Vlad uh, is learning that the power of the people means more than his interviews. And so since the people got on him about what he said he was going to do, he's not backtracking. But it appears that it's too late because many have unfollowed him on Twitter. Many have unfollowed him on YouTube. Dang. And uh, the backlash is coming his way. And pretty much, I think he just couldn't take um, couldn't take what was coming his way. But, hey, a little too late. Go check out this at Twitter, at DJ Vlad, and check the comments. And, man, they own it bad. I mean, it's, it's all over the place. So let me know what you think about this. And, hey, good job to the people. Have a great day. Wow. Baby called the Kendrick Lamar effect, but wow, it Vlad. wasn't over. Because another conversation we have to talk about the culture is all skin folk ain't kin folk. And black <laughs> faces in high spaces will not ah, always save shoot. us. Because ah, the shoot. Breakfast Club, which is supposed to be oh, our music for they our people, but expose them. themselves as nothing but propaganda to, get, to sell our culture to people. Had the nerve to get on and say this. Ah, shoot. DJ Vlad criticized for an argument with college professor. Uh, so we got into it with a Princeton professor after she asked him not to speak on the Drake and Kendrick beef. His tweet was simply, Kendrick's not like us needed a better mix. It takes away from the song. Now, I was told that DJ Vlad was a producer, so I don't see why he couldn't have this opinion about the song. She responded to him and said, you are white. This is a black folk <laughs> affair. So he <laughs> he responded to her and said, wait, so a professor at Princeton is telling me that a white person shouldn't be allowed to voice their opinion about hip hop? Is that how you interact with your students? She came back and said, what I'm saying is that you put your opinion in a, in a discussion that's not needed. This conversation is and should censor black people, not you. Vlad said, don't try to change your words now. I'll be reaching out to Princeton about this on Monday. So she said, semester's over and my contract has been completed, but thanks for trying to bully me out of a job for censoring black people because you got your feelings hurt. The professor says she found it funny that Vlad chose her to respond to out of all people. Well, I mean... Now, first of all, why it sound like Jess is reading notes that they gave her? Second of all, what you mean they kind of asked for it? Where is the wow, defense? Man. This is supposed to be a radio station for the culture. And the fact that they see no allegiance, but they trade on the culture for their views, package it up to the same kids that are going out between, behind DJ Vlad. The fact that someone is saying stay out of black people's business and you're trying to act black people, just hilarious, Charlemagne. I don't even know if DJ Envy what he claims, yeah, right? Like Puerto Rican or but something. you're trying to act oblivious <laughs> as if you don't see this is an eternal conversation about our culture. And you cannot center yourself because you are not relevant. It's wild to me. Kind of asked for it. Vlad said, I responded to you because all the other responses are from trolls and fake accounts. You may want to think about getting a burner account like all the other bigots do. That's how they keep from getting fired. LOL. Ate her up. Jesus. Jesus. Dang. Ate her up. Ate her up. Y'all sitting here cooning. Well, <laughs> let me not get demonetized. Y'all sitting up here talking as if we don't have a culture as if it's american culture it's not that is like a man coming and centering himself in a conversation on women you'd never be like oh eat her up how did he eat her up because y'all gave him a place at the table because y'all made him feel like he was a part of the group because y'all made him think that somebody that is not about the culture doesn't even understand the culture. Talking about some goddamn gun snares where we're talking about the soul of our that. culture. Man, let's continue. Charlamagne said some dumb shit too. Didn't really surprise me because 
whatever, but listen to it. And then we're going to have some real people with some sense talk. He definitely did. Um, and later on, he shared another tweet clarifying that he never actually planned to file a complaint against her. He said she trolled me and I trolled back. Uh, but he feels like their argument led to a bigger conversation about race relations. And he plans to bring it up in his future interview. This is so disgusting the way that they're handling this. But now I hope y'all see. Mm. Um, Here's the thing. Social media is the place where people can express their opinions. Vlad said what he said. And that comment had nothing to do with race. Now, maybe Charlamagne ain't tapped in enough to know that the song was talking about culture. But see, here's the thing. Charlamagne's defending his friend Vlad. And Jess is defending her job. And anyone that actually takes them as an opinion on what culture is, yeah. But see, here's the thing. I know that we won't take them as culture. But see, their job... I think right now is to make others that want to poach and center themselves in a culture feel comfortable doing it. Because at the end of the day, we have no culture, right? It's everybody's culture. All Vlad said was the song needed a better mix. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, There's nothing wrong with that comment. But, and then the sister said what she said, but now that sister has to deal with the consequences of whatever Vlad chooses to do if he chooses to, you know, file a formal complaint right. or whatever. And Vlad has to deal with the consequences complain. of filing the complaint on the sister because social media is going to be mad at. Right. Mm. So everybody got the right to their opinion. Yeah. Okay. He said he wasn't actually going to do it, though. He probably was just trying, like like he said, troll her back. But some things just shouldn't be turned into race. I think it was yeah, just like, I agree. you know. You when know. he was talking about a mix. But the funny mix. thing is, yeah, when you Vlad go is a DJ, though, right? He not used to only be a DJ. Not mm. only is I don't care if Vlad was in the marching band in heaven. How are three black people... On a nationally syndicated station, tell lecturing other black people. Yeah, cause Vlad, bro, that nigga, he is a culture vulture, bro. No cap, like he a white man in hip hop. You know I'm saying, like if he was a white rapper or something, that you know what I mean, like, bro, all you do is record black people, bro, record our culture and, and get views off of it, rich off of it, and you don't do nothing for our community, you lock, you lock niggas up, you know what I'm saying, like, you ain't nobody cool, bro, I ain't gonna lie, ain't nobody, ain't nobody really cool, and people just watching the interviews just for the person being interviewed, you feel me, so, I don't know, man, it's your boy Kelly, man, y'all comment down below what y'all think, that's pretty much the vid. Uh, they got a little clip right here. Let me see. One of the best side effects of this Kendrick and Drake beef is the collective realization that black people are starting to have that we need to do a better job of gatekeeping our culture. And I've made multiple videos about it, and this has been a conversation going on amongst the black community for a while now, and about how black people need to stop inviting people to the cookout, literally and figuratively, for doing the bare minimum. <laughs> and over the course of this beef, with each diss track that Kendrick has dropped, each track has more and more layers to the point that if you aren't a black person immersed in black culture, you're totally lost right now. You're outside of your depth. And you can see this ripple effect going on. You can see all these suburban white kids scrambling. They don't understand why black people are resonating with so many of these diss tracks from Kendrick. And they're trying to urban dictionary their way through these diss tracks to understand what's going on. And they're wow. starting to realize, like, no matter how many rap songs they listen to, no matter how many black friends they have and how much they change their style, there's still things about black people and black culture that they will never understand or can That's understand so because That's they so are fat. not black. And you can see this ripple effect going on and it's not just hitting Drake, but it's hitting people like DJ Vlad, who's going on Twitter talking about, oh, this track isn't properly mixed, so it takes away from it. It's a diss track. Ain't nobody looking for it to be properly mixed. And if <laughs> it not being properly mixed took away from it, then black people wouldn't be out here crip rocking to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anything was taken away, bro, that junk wouldn't be number one and all that other stuff, bro. That's, that's a fact, man. Vlad, bro. You might as well just stay out of it, bro. Why you even, you know what I'm saying? Go talk about Soldier Boy or something simple. It's your boy, Kevo. <laughs> y'all comment down below, man. How y'all feel about it? I, I think I don't, I don't like Vlad either, bro. So, shit, I'm with it. You feel me? That nigga, he, he ain't gonna really do nothing for the light. I don't know, man. I just feel like he ripping off the community, bro. Simple. I don't know. Comment down below if you disagree with me. It's your boy, Kevo, man. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm tired.
and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Peace.